Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to change or gain permission of a hard drive, especially if you install a new hard drive and uh, if you can't use it, like, or if you have a, if you had installed like a different operating system on your computer before and now you can't use it. So as you can see in here, I can't use my hard drive that I was using for my XP uh, partition. So uh, but I don't want to format it, so I want to access those files without erasing them. So, um, so that's basically it. If you just want to clean your hard drive, then you can just format it. But if you need to open up your files, then you need to um, do it as follow the steps like here. So, as you can see, this. This folder in here, I've, I've got all the files um, I needed about this Windows folder in here, which is about I think it's gonna be about 20 gigabytes. I don't need it, so I just want to delete that and keep everything else. So, so let's wait for it to show up the space. But um, you will see when I try to delete that it won't let me delete it because it's a system file and it won't do it unless I format it but there's a way to do it and if you edit the permissions of it you should be able to do it you see it's just a 60 gigabytes partition but it's taking up a lot of space uh, just for the windows file that I don't need that's that was the old XP windows file but I've already upgraded to windows 7 um, so I'm, I don't use that XP anymore. So whenever I try to delete it, as you can see in here, um, it will keep going and um, it will keep trying, and then it will give you a warning message that you can't delete. So all the files are still there. So 10 GB words of Windows file and that I don't need is there. That's from the previous installations. So. I'm going to show you how to fix that. Go back on my computer and I'm going to do it on this um, partition in here. You got properties, security, and then you, all you got to do is um, click on advance, and then you change the permissions from the owner and you go and make sure it's the, you're logged in as administrator and you have to change it to any administrator. If you're and you must select the replace owner on subcontainers and object, otherwise you won't do it properly. So you keep, click apply first, and then you press OK. And as you can see, it will it just replaces all the permissions, so you should be able to browse, edit, retrieve your previous system files and things like that. So um, that's basically it, guys. So you can also do it within the folders as well. You don't have to do it from the hard drive. So if, if there's a particular folder or system file that you can't use, you only got to change ownership. So um, it's gonna take a take a really long time depending on the hard drive, the, the partition size or the hard drive size or the folder size. You got as it is, as I showed you before, it's like 10 gigabytes, so it's gonna take a long time. So you can see that the permission has done. And uh, it might have to do it a couple of times depending on the um, just just continue with the um, how many, whatever time it wants you to do, and you should mm, it should be able to work. So as you can see, we're done in here. So that is it, guys. That's all you gotta do for changing the permissions. And if I show you now, um, try to browse these files. Yeah, I can use it now. Before I couldn't use it. Now I can copy the files I need, and without having to format my hard drive. So. That's one way to recover your hardware. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. And um, just put in the comment below if you want me to do any more, um, any more uh, tutorials or anything. Thanks a lot, guys.